Hi babies and welcome back to uh, Oblivion Part 3. I'm Idle Life and last time, uh, right as we ended, we got this monster of a mace. Uh, and this bad boy still wearing a red robe. We will try to replace that. Um, but all the light armor that we've found so far is like leather and I'm trying to play as a mage. So <laughs> I can't role play without a real robe. So I'm thinking this episode, we're going to go check out that quest that I got in the first one, which I honestly don't remember anything about it other than I might have to go underwater, and I think the answer has been revealed. Um, I don't like water. Uh, I like to drink water. I think it, it tastes nice and it feels good in my body, but I don't like to swim uh, in games. Again, real life, it's fine. Water is basically fine in real life, but in games, uh, it's a nightmare because it's full of spooky boys. It would appear that there is a cave that leads under Castle Anvil. <clears throat> the rumors indicate that Dunbarrow Cove may be located under the castle itself. Oh, Spook Central. I should head into the cave. Here, there she goes. I hate it. I hate it. Smuggler's Cave. It's nice that they advertise on the outside. So there's no question about what you're getting yourself into. And that, hey, you know what? Put the loot up front. Not exactly loot. Um, calibers and yarn. Two mitch, mismatched trade skills, but that's fine. It took me a second. It really took me a second. Nernrood, I remember this quest. It's not that interesting. It's basically like an intro to alchemy. Uh, which I've talked about over and over, enjoying and liking, so I don't know why I would say that. I've never seen an item like this before in this game. So, can I just, yes, tabs. I've rusted felt outfit. Hi, we're getting somewhere. Hello. Dress up for prom blacksmith pants I already have those and a hand scythe which sounds exciting but it can't be used so there's a lot of tools in this game that have nothing to do with anything your character can partake in um, pretty abandoned up front here and it's like store the clothes at the front of the cave we'll lay naked in the back and wait the locked room. I'll take it. Pickaxe. Again, no mining in this game. Just for sillies, you can have that. Green felt linens. So, what? We have these new clothing pieces. So, I could wear these. I have no shame about this. Um, I moisturize. So, oh. Nothing like a deep green capri short to really <laughs> instill fear. Braided leather, that is atrocious. I'm touring New York City and this is my selfie stick. Okay. That's way better. I don't exactly look like a mage. Um, and I would, that's yuck. Really gross. Um, this and this. Yeah. Uh, it's fine, though. Like, I don't know that we'll ever get anything provided that looks like mage gear, but that's fine. There's stabs in this game, though. I know it. <laughs> I know it. So, I don't know why we haven't found any. I will take this. You remember mashing lettuce and cheese together makes a powerful potion. You can... <laughs> that really... Hold on beef <laughs> just raw beef restore fatigue that makes sense food poisoning not mentioned but yes don't eat raw beef and shield if the neighborhood bully is casting spells at you uh just eat some raw beef and even if it doesn't give you a shield it will scare him so karen bullet calf let me Get a little crazy here. Can I make a shield? Do I have a shielding boy? 
Restore fatigue. It's all restore fatigue stuff, yeah? Oh, save. Save the beef. Spear or whale. Fortify intelligence? Yeah. Create. Restore. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with the restore fatigue potion, right? I mean, I'm not really using fatigue much. Alchemy's going up. It's happening quick. It actually... It excites me. I don't like to stop. Move. Just doing the same thing over and over again. Detect life. I think... I think I already have a detect life spell. And I know I do. I know I do. Right? I know I do. <laughs> I know I do. Don't I? I have no doubt. But I doubt I do. So hold on. Can I... Kind of neat. Oh, yeah, there's my light spell. I don't know that I'll... Let's use it. Screw it, right? Protect life. So, or cover yourself in pink bubbles. Oh, uh, I don't... Let me just do this quicker. I'm taking forever. Huntsman moccasin. No armor on it. Quill. Can't write in this game. Uh, here we go. So, hypothetically, if there is anything... Steel cutlass. I'll, what a beaut. Uh, if there's any life, that will let us see. Ahead of time. I followed the rumors and found Dunbarrow Cove and the remains of the Black Flag. <laughs> it's just Henry Rollins. <laughs> laying in the mud <laughs> I was relevant once however the caverns are overrun by the skeletons of the pirates who perished here I'll have to put them all to rest before I can begin to refit the cove oh this must be like a home quest like you can make this into a house which is kind of neat I don't remember if there's like servants and stuff in this uh, game but that would be fun so detect life does that work on skeletons like they're obviously mobile but okay it does <laughs> it works on skeletons oh they have cutlasses that's kind of nifty they definitely wouldn't normally it's too loud audio master volume like that yes now it's kind of too quiet eh Eh, let me know if that's too quiet, and I'll have it up higher in the next episode, but it's a little uncomfortable for me when it's too loud. This is nice. Yeah, <laughs> let me make this into a home. I can't wait. Okay. Ooh, what? Is this, do I still have? Ah! What? Is that mine? No, that's not mine. Okay, let me try out my my baby here. Yes. <laughs> I think we can say it worked. They just dropped bone meal, right? Oh, and that's an alchemy thing. I should take that. Um, and this, how much does it weigh? 25 pounds? I don't really want to take that. It's neat. I like it. But we have a way better weapon. I don't really want to use slashing weapons. And I'm going to, hold on. Oh, power attack. Forgot that that exists. I'm going to uh, rush the stage here, as it were. Hello, boys. Why? I clicked and I didn't attack. This is Red Saber Skeleton. I didn't. Have they all been that? I didn't. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> there he is. There's the. I just. There. It's like new. Can it. Couldn't, couldn't tell. Uh, so, is there like a quick take all option? I don't think so. All right. But every time I thought there wasn't something, there has been. <laughs> All right. All right. The battered crate. I don't, I'm not going to search this anymore. It's always like paintbrushes for the painting you can't do, pickaxes for the mining you can't do, repair hammers, which actually work. Um, full 
ale, right, from Gold Nugget. <laughs> that nug, though, sticky, icky, and cheap wine. How long have these been here? Like, I, I understand taking them <clears throat> for alchemy, like, for poison or something, but those are still drinkable options. I could buy those at a store in the city right now. This is weird. It's, it's weird because, like, why does it have me keep going further down? And if they're hanging out on top of the ship, why wouldn't they be hanging out in here, too? I imagine I'm going to go down here. There's, like, the captain. Old captain down there. Just in case. Is that the... What is this? Oh, that's the steel health. Right? Did my skeleton even follow me down? He did not. So, why is this all empty? I mean, is this... This will, like, become my house, I guess? I would much rather live in that cool-looking shack upstairs. Yeah. Okay, this is not... <laughs> this is not my future. I refuse to believe that. What? Oh, that's mine. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Well, it's... A, a little bit cliche, but B, like, they didn't try very hard, did they? <laughs> How out of place does that flag look? And, like, there's these, and then, like, a Looney Tunes pirate flag. With more, like, alcohol that hasn't been drank at all. Ever. Unopened. So, to represent a drunk is not being done very well. Yeah, I'm addicted to alcohol. Yeah, I just can't stop carrying it with me and, and laying it down places and not drinking it. Uh, it's, it's not alcoholism. Oh, no, it's bad. Yeah, I, it's everywhere for me. So, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> Better go to rehab. I said a no, no, no. <laughs> I ain't going to stop. Captain's quarters. Wonder if he's in here. Jesus criminy. What? Found him. Stop, stop, stop. Captain de Gaulle. Okay. Yeah, that is way more health. Ouch. Steal your health. Ouch. It's not doing much. Light armor skill. Ouch. Can I just spam this? Ouch. Ouch. It's not even him. It's me. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. It's not his ability to fight. It's my ability to not get hit. Although this is pretty close quarters, I guess, isn't it? He's almost dead. You dead, bull. All right, so is that? Nope. Same sword. Stop. Captain Nicole's journal, part three, two, one, whatever. They're all here. I guess I could just read them on the ground, couldn't I? I've made my life much harder. Alright, let me see. Uh, first, before I forget. Good enough. Okay. Captain de Gaulle's Journal, Part 1. I'm not necessarily going to read all of this, but let's <clears throat> see how long it is. 3E, 286, or thereabouts. Always important to be accurate on your location, but just approximate. They'll, they'll find you, as they have, just about 200 years too late. I'm finding it unlikely that anyone will be finding this journal, but if they do, know that there be written the last words of the great Captain Toradan, Art de Gaulle, Scourge of the Abyssian Sea, Terror of the Gold Coast, Cutthroat, of Hunting Bay and Lord Captain of the Red Saber, the finest band of buccaneers and pirates e'er to sail Tamriel. I ain't a man with much use for words. I just have four full journals. <laughs> I ain't never been to no academies. I uh, yes. Well, he just said it. Be fair. And I ain't. That should be capital. He's done great until the part where he's like, no, really, I'm stupid. And I ain't never wrote no books. Just these. 
Words ain't never earned me no gold, so they's worthless to me. Again, so I make sure to record every thought I have. That's why you have Carter Masters and First Mates. <laughs> yeah, First Mates are known for their, their literary ability. But I'm going to be setting my last thoughts down here on paper. Because I ain't got much time left here, and it's every old man's right to have his words hard. So he's dying, okay. I'll come back as a skeleton and hang out, but other than that, I'm, I'm basically a goner. Now be business was fighting, Salen and looting. I became a leader of Salen men, the most feared in history, or so they tells me. Now before you be getting ahead of yourself, let me be warning you that my tale does not end well. <laughs> as I'm sure you can see from wherever you found me rotten bones in this good's cursed cavern. I was born in a little town of Criminy, Dunborough. Okay. I was born in Dunborough and I named the cavern after it. Smuggler Skuma Skuma, which is like the heroine of Tamriel. Uh, it comes in these neat little bottles which make it really fun to take to parties. Uh, from Daggerfall to Vivek, shame he were caught and hung. He were as close to a daddy as this old pirate ever knew. That's for sure. After the coffin were hung, I got around Hammerfell. I mean... Yeah. So this is all of his last words. But I can tell that in her day there were no vessels she couldn't outrun. Now I, ain't, now I ain't one to brag, but the Empire had a bounty of me of 40,000 coins. Okay, so so far I've found like three bottles of cheap wine and some thread. Ah, rich as hell. I just... <laughs> I spent it on these books. We get it. I think we get it, right? What's the last one say? Then Graham died off. Graham was the first to one by one. The boys had been so it's one of his crew members. I'm the last, and I suppose that makes sense. The great Captain de Fold de Booty Booty, defeated by Faisal Umbranox and buried alive. Umbra was the name of a sword in Morrowind that I loved. Uh, it had like soul steel on it, which sounds cooler than it is, but it was still useful. There's soul gems, so you cast uh like soul capture or whatever it's called soul steel on a creature and then you kill it and as long as that debuff is still on it you put its soul into these crystals and then that's what you use to enchant stuff so it's cool it's just on a weapon i guess it makes it easier to cast it on something and then kill it but i would i guess i would always prefer to just cast it and then kill them with a weapon that had like fire damage or something i wonder what became of anvil probably let it burn and swept up a dee ba doo dee da -dee. Like I said, way back in the beginning, I don't expect nobody to ever read this. But if by some chance someone does find my carcass down here in this pit, do an old seaman a favor. Track down whatever descendants that fat old Sacumbernox may have and tell him he's a stupid poopy butt. And Torridan up the gall says hello. Okay, so I don't know. I don't think that's an actual quest. Maybe it is? It doesn't seem like it. But, ah, so I'm assuming I need to, like, kill everything? What? Why would I go back in there? What's wrong with me? Yeah, I'm assuming I need to kill everything, and then I can, like, claim this place. So if they expect me to, like, swim around for the fish that are in there to kill them, because there's aggressive fish in this called slaughterfish, and I don't think there's, like, <clears throat> dro, like squid people, like in the first one, or droog, however you pronounce it. Is that where I came from? It is. Uh, in the first one or the other, like, squid people. And in this, I think only later on will you encounter, like, they're called land droog or dro. And they're just basically crabs with human heads, which is just about as hot as a human can be. All right, so. Oh, these are, shoot. I haven't been taking them. That's all right. Please? Thank you. Whoa! I got bumped by the wall and it scared me. See? I knew they were going to do this to me. Watch. Or is this... This is... Maybe this is just if you fall? Ah. Yes. But I'm gotta be something right down here 
I'm gonna get addicted to this detect life spell so I don't get jump scared by a pathetic monster. Is that really it? Just a boat with a dead guy in it? Which, again, like lore, I'm for it, that's cool, but. I was really wanting there to be. Ah! Something. Oh, that was mine. Uh. So I'm not, like, affecting these screams. This is not me playing scared. I'm just... I enjoy horror movies. They're actually my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to watch. But something about playing a game that's even, like, benign as this uh, scares the crap out of me. Ah, see? <laughs> like, it's just... I don't... In the open, it's not so bad. I think I could still get startled. But in here, it's just, like... Even this mild spookiness throws me off. I think we did it. I've destroyed the last of the undead pirates and claimed Dunborough Cove as my own. The cavern and the hulk of the Black Flag are in a terrible condition after hundreds of years underground. I should speak with Dahlia Rackham of the Clarabella. She will be able to assist me in hiring a crew to turn Dunborough Cave Cove into a suitable base of operations. I think I've been calling it cave the whole time. So, all right, so in a Marwan, the one before this, there was like very little guidance. You got a general direction to head and maybe the name of somebody to talk to, but usually not even that. And you actually had to dig around for it and be told what to do. And this is where they started to implement stuff like, I've never heard of Dahlia Rackham of the Clarabella, which is, I assume is a ship. And so, oh, okay, another captain, maybe she can tell me what to do. But they just started to like hand you directions and so okay so your illusion skill increased you should rest and meditate on what you've learned that means i can level up um and leveling up in these games are it's much uh more straightforward in skyrim and every game prior you and this is mega convenient in every game prior um i'm gonna save just so i don't get jumped uh every game prior you get stats to allocate let me just show you stats to allocate based on what skills you leveled up so these could be all the way up to plus five and the way that it works out is you could accidentally level up too many skills and get all of these as plus five and then every point after that could could sort of be wasted so if you wanted to like min max your character to make them as strong as possible by the end of it you should like plan out how you level I've never done that. I think it is lame, honestly. I think this game is not that difficult, and um, it ruins it. Like, this is not a game to be freaking MLG on. Just play it. <laughs> just have fun and play it. If you don't enjoy this game for what it is, just go play Counter-Strike. Who cares? <clears throat> so, Intelligence, Total Magicka, I think definitely that's the one. And I feel like we should just take the plus threes, and I hate being slow. Uh, willpower affects how quickly you regenerate Magicka, definitely. Agility, maneuver, balance, total fatigue, speed. <sighs> kind of one, and it, it's light armor, governs light armor. So, personality, luck, don't really care about this because it doesn't have any skills related to it. So, it's a slow level, and you can just kind of do it later, I guess. I'm going to just do speed. It affects my light armor, and at some point, I would like to be purely casting. So. And I'm slow, and I don't want to be slow. Did I do it? I did. I, that was unceremonious. I was hoping for some kind of chime or something. So I'm level two. I'm level two. Okay, so just see. Yeah, that's like a little bit quicker, isn't it? It feels quicker. Wait a second, and I can put this away. and run slightly faster. Great. So that'll save me 10 seconds over the course of six months. Perfect. Uh, so now I have to go talk to Dahlia. I uh, have gone the wrong way. Let's wait a second. Okay, here. I went this way before. Let me just grab up a couple, couple of brewskies. Couple of brews for the road, y'all. I appreciate that each of these is like an individual thing. And you loot one, you loot the group, but like that there's this space in between where you can't take it, but we get it. 
You did a great job making the game, but just let me pick up this mushroom. Oh, and it's daytime. That's pleasant after that dark cave. Dark cove. Don't see this. Like, deep open water is an absolute nightmare for me. Okay, pro strats. Climb up the... Jump, jump, jump. Just... Come on. <laughs> no, you're not an athlete yet, but you can do it. So that's Anvil. I'm going to go to Anvil real quick and see if we can't find a robe or something. So I might cut here and see you guys in a second. What? Oh, what? What? Ah, that's not the Landro I was talking about. That is a crab. Let me actually just... Yeah, okay. I don't like monster. I'm not, like, talking about <laughs> monsters in this game. I don't like monster. I don't like monster energy drinks. They make me feel goofy, but I'm just freaking tired today. I was up uh, till I think 3.30. I worked from 2 p.m. to 3.30 yesterday just editing that Rocket League video, which I'm proud of. I enjoyed it. I'm afraid the title is a little misleading, to be honest with you. It's supposed to be like tongue-in-cheek, but I'm worried I'm actually going to upset people with it. I'm not Hi. trying to trick anybody. Hi! <laughs> Hello! Uh, but anyways, I was up till like 3.30 and I basically worked straight. I took a short nap. Is that a Mermaid laying on top of a man. Laying on top of a man. I'm trying to be How do you do? Family friendly. How do you do? No. She just got a big old yes. seal butt. Didn't say anything. So there's these nern roots everywhere. They present them like they're these rare, cool herb that you can use uh, to make potions. And it is like Pretty powerful. It's got a lot of fortify uh, intelligence and willpower stuff or whatever. Uh, but for example, this is substantially rarer than that Nern Root thing. Uh, but they, you know, gave it its whole own quest, and it's just not necessary. So I think, yeah, beggar's food bag. I would have to be pretty pathetic to steal from a beggar. Oh man! Oh, I forgot. So there's these guilds in this. This is the Fighters Guild of Anvil, and there's ones in all the cities, I think. Um, maybe not for the smallest ones, but I think that's the Mages Guild. Oh, I should join the Mages Guild and do some of those quests, too. I think, because you get, like, decent gear from it, and I it'd be a good way to level up. It's a great way to stay in shape. Um, so this is the Smith, if I remember? Yeah. Warvane's Peacemakers. And I think, well, I guess I don't really need to be here, do I? Unless he's got light armor, too? Hello. Hi. Varel Morvane. Been making weapons and arms here in Anvil for 30 years. People say I do good work, and I don't aim to argue with them. That's great information that I didn't ask for. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? This man's not moving. Okay. Uh, don't need a weapon. Is that better? It's way better than what we've got. Look at that. Restores 20 points of health on strike, and it damages their fatigue by 50 points on strike, which, when their fatigue runs out, which is stamina in this game, I don't know why they... Call it fatigue because you're. When you lose fatigue, you get weaker. Whereas you would think is if you get rid of your fatigue, you would feel better. Whatever. Okay, so he has light stuff too. So I should wear. Instead of the hood, I guess I should get that. I don't. It's gonna look s stupid, but it's cheap. Pair hammers I have. So this is selling. This is selling. Okay. Yice. Yice. Yes. I saw that. Wait a second. Is it better than what I have? Or worse? It's the same. Okay. Petty Soul Gem. I'm going to keep those. Uh, and he buys everything, which is cool. I like that you don't have to dig around for a merchant to buy your crap in this game. You've like, there's so many games where. Like, oh, I don't buy those. Which, yeah, that makes sense. Like, you're not going to go to, like, a farmer's market, find a guy that makes pocket knives for a living, and be like, I have these apples. You're going to have to sell him 
pocket knives or whatever. But That's a fair deal. Thank you. But uh, it just gets lame in video games. It's just extra legwork that give away torch. No. Tell that I don't want to do. About me. Gray Fox. That's the thieving thing. A terrible crime. Everyone in the chapel murdered. Who could have done such a thing? And why? Hmm. So he can repair your stuff, but I'm going to do it Good myself. Day. Because it'll give me experience. Why can't I? Oh, my skill's not high enough. Damn. So, I guess I'll pay him to do it then. It's not yes. really messed up, but... I'm pretty handy. <laughs> he keeps... You don't have to convince me, man. I I believe you. <laughs> like this unexplained. Maybe it's his like apprentice or something. Just hi, I'm the the, the elf in the dark. Uh, there's one in every blacksmith shop. So don't <laughs> don't look at me like I'm weird. All right, cool. Seems. Good. It's a cool city. This was always one of my favorites because it's like by the beach and stuff. It's neat. There's a, a big dock with a bunch of ships, which is where the lady is, now that I think of it. Right? Is that what it said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea how to get the quests. There we go. Dunbarrow Cove. Dahlia Rackham of the Clarabella, which is literally in this town. Sweet. Okay. Hello there. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi. How do you do? Great. Hello. Hi. Doc is free. What do you want? It was great timing. Your feet are in the ground. What do I want? I want to help you, uh, but they didn't program that into the game. So. What can I do for you? Let's Denver do business. Cove upgrades. It's just not explained. So I can make a fence, which is not, it's a somebody that you can sell stolen goods to. <laughs> it's not just like, I had like a white picket fence for my uh, underwater uh, pirate ship haunted house. Fletcher, upgrade my quarters. Need a security expert, so maybe like a pickpocketing trainer and stuff. Or in the, I don't know. Looking for a spy master, which not a clue what that is. I need to hire a supplier. This is cool. That's neat. That that's definitely like a long term goal. I had no idea. I knew there were houses in the game. You. <laughs> Never mind. You've got to. You have to spend your money. You walk downstairs. You spend your money. Uh, yeah, we need to have a house. I didn't realize they were that well developed. I thought it was literally just, like, you do a very small quest and get. I guess that was pretty small, but you do a teeny little quest and now you have a place to sleep for free. I didn't realize you could like stock them with, you know, allies, not really servants. So, may the wind imagine. be on your back. May the wind be on your back and stronger. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna sleep at this inn. Okay, goodbye. Creature. Did I... How do I... Well, how do I sleep in your... I'm main lord. Stupid ass in. That news about a prophet. Hi. Would you like news about a prophet or a bed to sleep in? I would love a bed. Great. Well, Jesus is on the way, so let me give you a little chat about him. All right. I guess I'm not going to sleep in this inn, but guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate you all. Um, few of you right now, but you all mean a lot to me. So thank you. And um, I will catch you in the next one. I'm getting really excited about doing this. So talk to you soon. Bye.